Y'all, look at Daisy. We tried to share the other day and it took forever and I was using horse clippers, so we only shared half of her. So we gotta do the other half, but she looks absolutely ridiculous. We did daffodils little feet. They got trimmed. Yes, don't you jump on me. Don't jump on me. Are we gonna bid on a horse today? That's a great question. And usually the horses at the Great American Ranch and Trail Horse Show go for a lot of money. But that's why we go early to see if there's anything that interests us and anything we'd be willing to bid on. Sometimes there are some reasonably priced horses. So everyone has their morning breakfast and we're gonna head out to the auction. We're at the Virginia Horse Center in Lexington, Virginia. So this sale happens every year. It's the Great American Ranch and Trail Horse Show. A lot of people from the Midwest will bring out their ranch horses and over the weekend they compete in ranch classes and trail classes to show off their horses and then on Saturday the auction happens and there's also an online auction. So a lot of these horses are ranch horses competing in ranch work and trail classes. This here was a cute little 11 Point three hand high pony I thought was absolutely adorable but so the majority of the horses at this show this year were quarter horses and here's a horse with the hobbles on I thought it was neat because I hear about hobbles I've never actually seen a horse use them like that like I've taught my own horses how to hobble but it was just different like that horse was not moving its feet at all last year there were a lot of draft horses here was like one of the few draft crosses I saw but Last year there were a lot of gypsy banners and Frisian horses and there it just felt like there was a lot more horses in general last year maybe I'm wrong but this year it felt smaller and definitely more focused on the quarter horses so this was a nice buckskin horse that they had my parents absolutely loved him my dad thinks he's a cowboy in case y'all haven't noticed in our previous video he has gone into acting as you can see and he fit right in at this auction this was a horse named Peanut. Any animal named Peanut, I am immediately going to adore. But he was super sweet. He had a very soft, cute little squishy nose. And he was very pleasant. I liked him a lot. This is one of the few Gypsy Vanners I saw. I thought there was going to be more. But this was a 14-2 hand Gypsy Vanner. And I did see a few others in the warm-up arena. Um, but this is the only one that was in the stall that we got to interact with and he loved his hay So <laughs> he didn't really give us the time of day, but I thought he was very pretty like his Palomino Roan I think you'd call it the accountant was by far all of our favorite horses Number one. I love Appaloosas. Number two. My dad instantly bonded with this horse Wanted it to be his look how happy my dad is <laughs> But this horse was the sweetest horse if I had to take any horse home from this auction I would have taken the accountant home he was precious. He was super sweet. I love the model skin. He was a good size. I think he was 15-1. He was four years old. Perfect. Perfect. This is a POA pony. I'm like, man, I got to add one to the collection. I got Tucker here. We got to add another one. I love POAs. I love Appaloosas. They're probably my favorite breed. We got a slinky horse here. Rocking the slinky. A beautiful buckskin underneath. You don't see too many buckskins and palominos where I'm from. And so when you do see them, you're kind of like in shock. This is one of the few paint horses that were there. I think this was a pony, but they were super sweet and relaxed and chill and just eating. And you're like, okay, this horse has done this before. They've gone places. They've seen things. They were just relaxing. And I do admire this. Like the environment of the sale is a great environment for horses to be in and learn in. I just think it's great to get them around environments like that. And a lot of these horses, we're really accepting of it and calm. This was a super cute pony. We're getting to the pony part now. I love the ponies. I mean, I saw the 15 hand horses and I thought they were massive. And I'm like, where are the 13 hand ponies? When you only have 13 hand ponies, everyone else seems massive. This was another little draft cross. I think like a Gypsy Van or Quarter Horse. Very sweet horse. I also like this one. Like if I had to take a horse home, it would have been between the accountant and this horse. I just love draft crosses. I love the way they're built. You just feel sturdy and secure on them. But I really like that one. We have a nice pretty gray Maverick. This little pony. I saw this one miniature pony. I immediately got reminded of Yoshi and I wanted to go see it, but he did not <laughs> like me interrupt interrupting his nap time. So I was like, okay. Let me get out of here quickly before he gets up. But he was actually very sweet. I just don't think he wanted to be messed with in the moment. And he'd probably been messed with all weekend. So 
I get it, buddy. I'm crabby when I wake up too, so. Like I said, a lot of Palominos. My parents were going crazy. This horse, my mom came running to get me. She's like, you have to come meet Freckles. And I'm like, Freckles? And they pull me in to see this horse's legs. So Freckles had freckles all over his legs. And he was very unique and he was very sweet. I liked him a lot, but I've never seen a horse like that. This was my favorite one. This goat was massive. I've never seen a goat this big. Much different compared to like Daisy the sheep. So once we go to look at the horses, you can head out to the warm-up arena and see how all the horses work. And if you are interested in buying, this is where you could test out the horse. And so we were just watching people. I love this Palomino mare. At the auction, like people were not bidding on her and I did not know why. I'm like, that mare is nice. Like I would have bid on her. Um, and so I don't think she ended up selling because no one was willing to bid high enough. But I was like, that is a nice horse. I liked this Appaloosa too. Very unique markings. I would love to get a uh, Leopard Appaloosa at some point. And I love the Cremellos. Like, they're just different. That's why I like them. But I'm like, is that a quarter horse? So this little pony, oh, they're so tiny. I don't think Yoshi was a miniature pony after I saw these guys, but he was very cute pulling that wagon around. I was showing dad, I'm like, look. Look at what these horses are doing. So. The sale started, you go into the arena. This is the little pony that kind of nipped at me. <laughs> this little pony. People were like, this was the first one out of the gate. People loved this pony. So I don't want to throw the pony under the bus. I thought he was super cool. I thought like maybe he's just had a long weekend, you know, cause look, these kids are around him. So surely he's not going to bite their heads off. Anyway, this pony ended up selling for $40,000. And that was the first one right out the gate. I was like, oh man, this cute little fella came out. I honestly think he was struggling to pull that wagon and in like the sand and there's two people in the wagon. So he really didn't want to go, which I get, but that kind of deterred. I think he could have probably gone for much higher. He went for 3,500, which for a miniature horse, I'm like, okay, that's good. I loved this horse. I don't think it was a quarter horse. It looks like a Rocky Mountain horse, but the way he moves reminds me of Ruach. Like Ruach moved just like this horse, like kind of like the high knees. And so he sold for 5,500 and kind of starting out, like I was like, okay, these horses are not selling for that much at all. This was a cute little halflinger. I love halflingers, but they said that this halflinger had shoulder replacements. Am I hearing that right? Did I hear that right? I couldn't tell if I heard that right, but I'm pretty sure that's what they said. So she ended up selling for 4,300. This is that little 11 hand pony that we saw earlier. Very cute. I wish I could fit on 11 hand ponies. Maybe I could, but probably not. But if I could, I definitely have them because I adore ponies and I will take them over a big horse any day. But I thought that pony was really nice. Went for $6,200. And the, the price points at this year were totally different than last year. Like horses were going for a lot cheaper this year than they went for last year. So I was kind of shocked and wondering what was going on. This was a very nice Palomino horse. Went for 14,000. It was a pony, so right up my alley. Then we get into the quarter horses. So there were a lot of no sales this year. Which I totally get, because I was seeing these horses and I'm like, okay, that's a nice horse. Look how they ride around in this chaotic arena. And people were not bidding high on them at all. Like, in the four digits. Like, this was a very nice ranch horse. But, yeah, people just weren't interested, I guess. But I thought this one should have gone for a lot higher. So it was a no sale, because I think they only bid four figures. I really liked this horse. I think it was just the environment. Like, watch what this horse does when they throw the ball at it. Okay. Okay, that's a pretty good reaction. Not gonna lie. Like, I would take that. So, same thing. People did not bid on this horse. They It was lo like four figures and it just wasn't worth it to the seller, which I totally get, because that to me was a nice horse. 
that I would have taken. This is the Palomino I saw in the uh, warm up arena where I'm like, that is a nice horse. And I was so surprised that the bidding was so low. I'm like, okay, in my mind, you know, this should be a five figure horse. I, she was small, I think she was like 14 hands maybe, but I loved her color and I thought she was adorable and sweet. And she just, yeah, she was unfazed, but people weren't feeling it. They didn't bid high enough. And so it ended up being a no sale. But I do, I love that shade of Palomino. It's like lighter than chocolate Palomino, but still dark. This was a nice paint horse. And the bidding on this horse got kicking off slow. And I'm like, why are people bidding so slow and low? So the bidding went on for a while on this horse. It felt like 10 minutes. And maybe I'm over exaggerating, but it felt like a long time. And I liked the girl who was riding, I just thought, she was cool. So, sold for $25,000. I'm like, okay, good. Here we go. Here's another Palomino showing off some range skills, some reining skills. Very sweet horse. Was also a pony, I think. I'm like, okay, Palomino ponies are in. And I thought this was a nice pony. There weren't too many people there bidding. And I don't know like how the online bidding was, but this one was also a no sale. And Honestly, the, a lot of the first horses were no sales. This paint horse was huge. He was massive. I can't remember how big he was. I want to say 17 hands. He was big. And you could tell like in that small little arena, he was like, oh my gosh, struggling. But yeah, people didn't bid that high on him. So no sale. This was a really nice ranch horse, I thought. They just look so comfortable. And I love how like relaxed Western riders are and like long reins and everything. And the horse just moves off their legs so well. Like that's my ultimate goal. This was a cute horse. But also kind of moved weird in the hind end. And I'm like, okay, is something wrong? Or is that, I've never seen that before. So that would be my question but he did sell for 4,100. So we didn't stay for the whole auction, but the final horse ended up bidding for $135,000. So at least someone got some money out of this 